silverfish? Are they a fish? Are they a pest? Are they a Minecraft spawn? Or a primitive insect? They're all of those things. And we're gonna talk about that today. All right, roll intro. What the bug? Now you might be thinking, what the heck, Evo? Why are we talking about a Minecraft spawn? Well, if you'll like mine a stone block and then they just appear out of nowhere and they come and they attack you and you're just <sighs> shocked, flabbergasted. There's a whole crowd of them. They're hissing at you and they're biting you. Let me tell you, silverfish don't hiss. They also can't hurt you. Also, they don't come from rocks. I mean, they live under a rock, like Patrick from SpongeBob, but they don't come from rocks. So, so maybe you might have heard of them because they're a common household pest, and they can be really, really annoying. Like, really annoying. They will go for your books, they will go for your pictures, they will go for your wallpaper. Anywhere that is dark and moist and has a lot of cellulose, they're all about it. So this also means your oats. oats, your oats aren't safe. Your glue, your glue is not safe. Nah, -uh, ah, 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 ah. Cardboard boxes belong to the silverfish. Of course, if you like maintain the moisture levels in your house and you're a cleaner person, this is not gonna be very much of a big problem because silverfish are practically defenseless. They're, they've got nothing going on. Like in Minecraft, they hiss and bite, but like, in real life, they're practically defenseless. You'll see them moving really quick with flashes of silver and they go into these cracks and crevices like nobody's business. So they're covered in scales, which is kind of the idea of where they got the name of a silver fish because they're silver. They move like a fish and they've got scales. I'm not kidding you, like look, scales. Anyways, they can come in a range of colors like dark blue, which is what I'm using on my eye right now. This one, this color right here, this dark blue. Also, I put some yellow in because sometimes their legs are yellow and it's really cute. It's like they have fiery legs, but they come in different colors. <laughs> That's what we're going on about. They come in different colors. They come in silver, kind of a dark bluish color and brown. That's it. No one said that silverfish were exciting, okay? They just come in those colors. That's it. Silverfish, they live up to seven years. They live for seven years. Do you know how long that is for like insect years? Insects in general, they live for maybe a season, maybe a couple years. Nah, silverfish are like, nah, four to eight years. Four to eight years. So you can imagine why they are so successful. So successful. They are also completely harmless to humans, which I've mentioned like 12,000 times and I'm gonna probably mention like 20,000 more times again. They're harmless. They really are harmless. Like they're not gonna hurt you. Like the video that you're seeing on the side here is of a silverfish like nibbling on my dead skin. I didn't feel it, you know? It was just there. By the way, her name's Tanya. She's the most precious silverfish ever. Oh my goodness, I love her. She's beautiful, she's curious, she's friendly, and she's fast. Yeah, look at her go munching. Munching on my dead skin. Ugh, I love her. Anyways, the only thing I felt were some tickles and I thought it was really cute that I was feeding her my dead skin, but that's only me and I'm kind of a crazy bug lady. Go. They have a pair of cerci right here and right here. And they also have a terminal filament, which is also called the appendix doralis, where females keep their ovipositors, but like males have them too. I mean, they don't have an ovipositor because they don't have to lay eggs, but they've got an appendix doralis too. So that's interesting if you're into that. Kingdom Animalia, which is where we all come from. Phylum Arthropoda, which is where, where all the arthropods that we know and love today come from. Then we got Subphylum Hexapoda, then Class Insectica, which 
has all of the insects that we know and love today. Then we got order Zygotoma. Zygotoma, I'm saying that with confidence. Which hosts the family Lepismidae. Lepismidae. Le his mat a day. Lep his mat a day. Lep his mat a day. Lep his lep. You know what? I'm just gonna put put that word right here. There we go. That family. And then after that, there are nine genuses. Geni? Genuses? Geni? You know what? I don't know. There are nine geni. Anyways, we're going to focus on one genus here, and it's genus Lepisma. Lepisma, which is what the common silverfish comes from. So there are currently 190 known species of silverfish that we know of so far. Now let's get to the juice. Let's get to why I love these insects. Why do I love them so much? Because they're so amazing. They're so amazing. Hear me out. This is the part where you learn how cool these bugs are. These bugs, they are amazing at digesting cellulose. And if you don't know, cellulose is really hard to digest. It's the reason why cows have four stomachs. It's the reason why some animals have to re-eat their poop. It's the reason why we have a beautiful gut microbiome with millions of bacterial cells working hard to break things down. But silverfish? Silverfish, silverfish, they, they don't need that. They don't need that gut microbiome because they're just so good at breaking down wood. So that's why they're very important because they help create all of our soils. They break down this, they break down cellulose like it's nobody's problem. And that's because they're a primitive species. Eva, what do you mean by primitive species? Well, let me tell you. The first insect that we know of looked and acted like a silverfish. Didn't have no wings, simple body plan. Yeah, 400 million years ago. The late Devonian. Yeah, all right, so here's a little graph. That's right there. That's when they first appeared. And they've been so successful because they're so good at hiding. Have you ever heard of like the Hunger Games? You know that pair that like survived the Hunger Games because they were like hiding the whole time? That's silverfish. That's literally how they made it. Is that the Hunger Games. They just hid under a log for millions of years and here they are, you know, kind of ruling it because they, you know, they haven't had to change much because, you know, cellulose is a readily available resource and it's hard to digest and it's hard to break down and people aren't just about cellulose. But these insects are so good at breaking it down, it's because they produce their own cellulase. Now, what's cellulase? Well, cellulase is what breaks down cellulose. It's an enzyme that catalyzes a beautiful reaction in the gut that breaks it down into energy for the silverfish. Now, usually other insects need to have a gut microbiome in order to break down cellulose because it's just really hard. But nah, since these insects are primitive as heck, they're able to digest cellulose on their own because they produce their own in-house cellulase, which is something that insects lost later on, which is so heartbreaking. But again, this is why silverfish are a successful species. They've actually been a huge research tool for people who want to produce uh, biofuel in an industrial environment. So this has been like a new like kind of development because they're so good at making their own cellulase. Anyways, I'm going to get my eyeliner done and we'll be right back. We're back with eyeliner now. Ding. So remember in the beginning of the video, how I was like, yes, they're pests. So they eat your wallpaper, they live in your bathroom and in dark, moist places. Well, yeah, they can actually become a big problem. So while we just appreciated them, we also need to appreciate the fact that they are, you know, very efficient pests. But like I said earlier, they've got like no defense mechanisms and they're super susceptible to so many different things, including, 
any cedar-based essential oils. That's right, if you want to prevent um, silverfish from invading, use essential oils that are based off of like Japanese cedar trees. Ooh, that one's really efficient. And then another one, another thing that you can do to avoid like a silverfish infestation in your house is to, you're gonna hate this, don't kill your spiders or centipedes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know, you don't like it, but you're gonna have to like it, all right? Because if you don't, then well, you're just gonna have silverfish living in your house forever. So what did we talk about? We talked about silverfish and how they are a past, a Minecraft mod, secretly kind of a fish and a primitive species. Overall, silverfish are just like, I'm gonna give them a rating of a seven out of 10. They lose three points, one point for being practically defenseless, another point for being like sad little like dark room gremlins, which I mean, you know what? They get a point for that. I get it. I'm the same way. Oh no. So they're an eight out of 10. <laughs> Minus one point for being practically defenseless and minus another point because like if they're infested in your house You're gonna have to keep your spiders and centipedes in order to keep them at bay. I know I know girl But I like centipedes so I can only imagine where you're at So thank you for watching this video. I'm glad that you watched it through and through i hope you have suggestions of the next bug you want me to talk about leave your suggestions down in the comments i will be reading them don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i will see you in two more weeks